Hi guys, welcome back to The Blonde Avenue. My name is Margarita, for those who don't know me, and for those who do, welcome back to my channel, my loves. I hope you're catching this video before Christmas because this is all about Christmas inspiration. I know we've basically got seven days left, but we can still make it beautiful and festive and exciting. I'm a bit of a last minute girl. I don't decorate in the beginning of November by any means, so it's always a good time to just add a bit of festive flair to your home. And there are so many ways to do so way number one is to wear some festive colors i'll leave a link for this dress below it is so stunning it's um the brand's called elliot and i've been wearing them quite a bit lately i love them and their shapes they are stunning but this video is not about clothes it's about home decor and i'm going to give you 21 ideas that's a lot of ideas but don't worry we'll get through them quickly of how to have a luxurious modern exciting christmas that is a little bit unconventional and kind of easy to do a lot of these ideas are very last minute before we get on with the video guys please remember to subscribe and if you like this style of home decor video please leave a like below so let's get into the christmas vibes my first idea for a special and luxurious christmas is to add tiered candles to your home. I'm gonna just grab you for a second and show you those candles I've got in the corner there. They're all different sizes and the ones down there, I think I've got about seven up there. The point being is a lot of people get kind of anxious about decorations and adding a lot of different elements and candles in tiered shapes in the middle of a table as a runner with a little bit of greens through them, just some pine branches or something like that, or on top of the mantelpiece or on a coffee table, it looks stunning. Just remember to keep the heights different. I go to Ikea, that's where I got mine. And sometimes when I'm out and about and I see that kind of glass um, candle holder, I also purchase it and I collect it over time. There's no need to go crazy. But if you do wanna go crazy, just go to Kmart, go to um, Target or go to Ikea and you can afford them very cheaply over there. The tiered candle look is very classy and very sophisticated and very whimsical and Christmassy. Christmas idea number two is using a ladder. If you don't have a Christmas tree or you don't have a mantelpiece or a fireplace, a really cute and whimsical way to add a bit of Christmas flair is with the ladder. A lot of people have them at home anyway, or if you don't, you can get them in a DIY store or one of those homeware stores. What are they called? B&Q in England or what are they called? Simon always goes there. Simon always goes there. Guys, what are they called in Australia? Bunnings. Um, if you get a ladder and it's an, in a nice cute color, you can actually hang your Christmas stockings on there or you can put little reindeer or you can just decorate them in the way that you see fit If you've got kind of a small space That's a really cute way to add a bit of a Christmas flair to your space What I'm really loving for idea number three is having a monochrome Christmas a lot of people put a lot of color into their Christmas Look who's talking Dolce & Gabbana over here um, They put a lot of big bright reds and things like that But I think a monochrome Christmas looks so so stylish if you're on a budget That's a very cute way to actually incorporate things you already have just add black and white ribbons or black and white elements to your table and space and especially on a Christmas tree and I think it looks so stunning. The best part about a monochrome Christmas is you can reuse these napkins and table settings for other parties in the future but it still looks classy. All you need to add is a bit of tinsel and a bit of ribbon and a bit of Christmas elements but monochrome Christmas is one of my top favorites this year. Guys, idea number four is fairy lights in jars. This is so, so cute. You can get really affordable fairy lights these days and they're really tiny and really sparkly. You can get jars or you can even get those um, lids that you put over cakes and things like that. Put them around your house in groups of three. I like an, uh, an odd number as opposed to an even one and it adds pops of fairy light flares all over your home. I think it looks so pretty. Idea number five is using candy to decorate your home. And this is a really good one if you have kids, I suppose. I don't have them. Would the kids get in the candy? I don't know. But it's a really whimsical Willy Wonka idea. So again, using those jars, you can put candy of a similar sort of coloring, like red and white, which is very festive and Christmassy, and put them at different heights and tiers again, maybe in the middle of a coffee table, or again, on top of the mantle. And it creates such a cute, beautiful vibe. And one of the best pieces of decor I've seen for gingerbread houses is to put them inside uh, cookie jars and sprinkle snow in there or sugar or flour or whatever you might have to create a winter wonderland scene. 
that would again look good on a table or on top of a mantelpiece and looks so Christmassy and beautiful. A trend that's been really going off lately is the all green garland with mixed greenery. So you can add pine and all kinds of different greens and then weave a fairy light through them. It's very classy, it's very sophisticated, it's minimalistic, but it makes a statement. Just remember to add quite a bit of lights. Meanwhile, when you use it as a runner down the center table, make sure it actually drapes down to the bottom to create this woodland wonderland scene. In the past, a lot of baubles and toys were the go, but this year, a lot of people are optimizing the full green forest vibe. And if they're real, it adds a beautiful scent to your home as well. I'm a massive fan of this and it's the floral Christmas tree. As you can see, I've got flowers in my Christmas tree. Mine is rose gold, white and floral this year. Only a couple of pink roses. I got them at Ikea. They do really, really good for flowers. I might not use them in the Christmas tree in the years to come, but I really wanted to do it this year because I live in Sydney and it's quite warm here. So I thought it adds a little bit of that. Hey guys, it's Christmas, but it's hot. So we're just trying to work it out. I think it can look so stunning if you add a bit of floral pops to your Christmas tree. It's really unexpected and super fashion forward. Why not try a beautiful, colorful Christmas? And not in the sense of baubles, but actually if you go to a party shop, you can get those things that are folded like this and then they fold out. I'm not sure what they're called, but they're made of paper and you can get them in different sizes and create a stunning garland going down your staircase or otherwise hang them above your dinner table. You can just use a bit of sticky tape or something because they're quite light. By the way, don't use sticky tape and peel off your ceiling. Check how you're gonna do that first. But you can hang them in a series of different shapes and even decorate your Christmas tree with them. I'm definitely gonna do this style one day where I'm gonna have them down the stairs, on the Christmas tree and above the table. It's so colorful, so cute and really unexpected. Another way to utilize a colorful Christmas is to ombre color code your Christmas tree. Now this might take a bit of effort, but there are a lot of cheap places to get Christmas baubles where a pack is something like $5. Mine came from Kmart. You can even implement the ombre look using say white, then silver, then gold, then rose gold all the way down. Or you can go full color in the genre of our colorful Christmas and go like the rainbow. How cool does that look guys? Come on. Not every Christmas has to be the same. This is so editorial. I love it. This one is definitely a favorite of mine and I always lean towards this and I think in the end when I get bored of Christmas decorations I'm just gonna get a load of all white Christmas decor and decorate my house in it all white crisp cool tones different textures is the key to this look make sure you have a bit of snow some fluffs some puffs some crazy different things but all in white color and all white beautiful Christmas put some white throws out textures I am I am absolutely in love with this look another brilliant idea is implementing a signature cocktail for your party I'm normally a wine drinker but actually implementing a signature cocktail for your party and then putting the small version of the cocktail of the bottle that you use as, as people's party favors is really nostalgic and pretty. It's something they can take home and remember that Christmas forever. I recently went to the fashion show for De Serrano wears Trusadi, and this is the Trusadi designed bottle for De Serrano, so it's very fashion darling. And um, this Christmas, I'm gonna be making some martinis using the Serrano. I'm going to put a link to my blog down below where I'll put a post of how I make my cocktails and you can go ahead and check it out. Citrus, guys, this is really unconventional, but I love it. Normally citruses scream of summer to me, but let's reframe our minds and think more of the mulled wine, citrus studded with anise variety. It's one of the cheapest and best ways to decorate a space even beyond Christmas. If you get some vases and put them full of oranges and lemons and limes. It's such a bright pop of succulents, especially if you have a kitchen that leads onto a dining space. To have that on the kitchen table is really stunning. And remember, oranges are very, very much a Christmas smell. So a lot of people even decorate the tree with oranges as potpourri, or if you put pine branches inside a vase, you can hang oranges off them. Stunning. The next idea is a minimalist Christmas. Get a beautiful real pine tree, put hardly any toys on it, maybe just some lights, really minimal, beautiful presents underneath, even as decor, and just leave it at that. If you have a minimalist home, there's no need to put flowers on your tree. Come on, guys. Uh, it's just not gonna look right. So a minimalist Christmas is also something that is really trending right now, and why not try it if you're not a big 
Christmas lover, but you wanted to just add a bit of Christmas, even a small minimalist Christmas tree can look amazing. This next idea is one of my top favorites. I'm not sure how I would implement actually hanging the branch in my home, but I'm sure your handy husbands or your handy selves can figure it out. I'm sure if I was actually trying to decorate. No, I, I technically could. I've got two vents hanging above my table. No, I could do it. It's a hanging a branch sideways above your dining table or above the space where you entertain and hanging some lights and baubles down from it. It's so mystical woodland and stunning that I can't get over it. My mum often implements branches uh, vertically inside vases from which she hangs beautiful decorative German um, toys which she gets from a market in Germany or Austria. Oh my God, was it Austria? Was it Germany? I think it's Austria. Wow. Anyway, she gets them from a market and then she decorates her um, branches. If you want to check those out, go check her out her Instagram. It's at Arena Castell. And she has a lot of inspiration for home decor. So branches are a top favorite also. I've never done this style of Christmas, but I think one day I ought to. It's the classic red and white. Get everything in red and white. Nothing can be outside of that color scheme. No blues, no greens, no nothing. Just the tree can be green, but everything else, a classic red and white. It's the Chris Jenner Christmas vibe, but it's so beautiful. It can look so classy, so stark. The contrast trust is between red and white that it can just add such a stunning element to your home. A very easy last minute idea is grab all the vases you have in your home and instead of putting the baubles on the tree or if you already have a tree get more baubles which match the tree and put them inside the vases in other areas of your home that can easily create a theme throughout the home of the color that you choose your Christmas tree to be. I know a lot of people have the fake um cow head antler situation going on in their house at the moment. A way to decorate that for Christmas is weave lights through them or if you want to buy some fake antlers and put them on the table, it creates a rustic Christmas vibe which can look really cottagey and mysterious. The next idea is a light only Christmas tree but make sure to get lots and lots and lots of lights whereby you have to wrap the lights around every single branch of the tree. You can't leave a branch untouched. You can even hang them from some branches creating icicles. Make sure they're very very tiny fairy lights and use no toys at all. It looks really stunning and it's kind of unexpected like a lot of my <laughs> ideas that I'm talking about. I'm joking I bet everyone already knows these. Anyway Let's talk about them some more because I love to chat fashion and decor. And you just create that kind of beautiful, magical Christmas tree, chuck fairy lights all over your home. And if you don't have a tree and all you have is fairy lights, then just make a tree out of fairy lights. Just start from the top, put little pins in the wall and make a Christmas tree. The next idea is when you put your candles inside your candle holders or vases, put nuts in there, cranberries and whatever else. Use the foods of Christmas as decor. Um, if you have them on a centerpiece uh, on the runner on the table, put cranberries around or nuts. Nuts is a very Christmassy, nutcracker, mm, yummy Christmassy feeling so use those. The next idea I have is a good one and this is for somebody who really likes to get into the Christmas spirit. Of course there are candles that people can use when creating Christmas smells in the home. I love a pine white Christmas smell. A lot of people like the more sugary smells. Um, a really good way to implement this is to create Put a pot on the pan, put some cranberries, cinnamon, orange in there, you know, put some pine leaves, not leaves, branches, and just boil it. That's gonna make your whole Christmas, just before your guests come, don't boil it in front of them, smell like the essence of the festive times. Another way to decorate is the opulent, luxurious, ruby red pomegranate. People don't often think about it for Christmas, but I find that fruit so beautiful in its whole entirety. It's very exotic. Um, I think it originates in Iran. Opulence, wealth, fertility, and all those things. And it's a very Christmas-like fruit. If you put them in the middle of your table or just heap them around, even cut them in the middle and break them open, um, use them perhaps in some of your dishes, you know, with pine nuts. I think pomegranates are the perfect Christmas fruit. And last but not least, guys, thanks for making it to the end of the video. One of my favorite all-time Christmases, as Kylie Jenner is doing this year, is all gold. Do not stray away from it. No other metals. Gold, 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 gold. An all gold Christmas can look like it's a lot, 
but it can also look stunning especially if your home doesn't use many other colors inside if you're quite minimalist and you add these big punches of gold it can look really editorial and beautiful but be careful with this one if you already have a lot of color in your home it might look gaudy anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video and if you are still decorating for christmas i hope it helped and if you're not i hope some of the last minute ideas helped you out anyway guys thanks for watching and i'll see you soon probably tomorrow maybe the day after i love you lots like jelly tots